I'm Rosie, I'm 14 and I'm bisexual. Today I would like to talk about the divide between LGBT people and the rest of the world. What, what is it? What causes it? How can we overcome it? And how it has affected me personally? Firstly, I would like to explain the story of why I chose to talk today. Someone, earlier this year, someone that I have known since I was 10 decided to take their own life. And I would like to dedicate this to them. A couple of friends and I had known them well and we found this hard to come to terms with. Our, all facts and figures about suicide can seem shocking and somewhat, but still can seem somewhat foreign and unrelatable until they really happen to you. Earlier this year, I found out that, according to Stonewall, 45% of LGBT people at some point will attempt to take their own life. That means, statistically, there is a 45% chance that one time I will attempt to take my own life. This is four times higher than the rest of the world. This is not only shocking, but shows, starts to show a difference in struggles between LGBT people and the rest of the world. This becomes more evident when you learn that 26% of lesbian, gay, and bisexual people alter their behavior through a fear of being victim to a hate crime, and that 42% of transgender people are not living in their, are not living, are not living in their preferred gender role for, for fear that it will affect their employment status. And that 84% of LGBT people have self-harmed. I would today like to talk about how we can reduce and eliminate this divide now that we've established what it is. So I personally believe there are three main causes. The miseducation of people, the fear of standing out, and stereotypes. So firstly, a possible cause is the miseducation of people. I have just finished year nine, and this year was the first year that I was educated on anything, at, first time I was educated at school at any, on anything to do with being LGBT. It was only for 45 minutes, and not very detailed, and left many questions unanswered. But before I go on about that, I would firstly like to say that in year six, I and a lot of other people in Great Britain had sexual education. It was only three years later when I was first told anything about being LGBT. So back to the questions left unanswered. Many people asked, why do we need to know this? This should be one of the first things addressed. It stops discrimination and false assumptions and help people feel happier with who they are. And they, they learn that it is okay to have feelings how they do and just find a way to express themselves. However, I learned the hard way. When I first questioned my sexuality, I knew very little about being LGBT. I knew what being gay was, only from asking what it meant after it being heard as an insult. But that's a whole other story. And I knew what being straight was. And that was the extent of my knowledge. I knew I liked boys, but I knew I liked girls. And I had no idea what that meant. I honestly thought I was broken. So also people were saying that we were too young to learn this. And children need to learn this young. If I had learned this when I was younger, my life would have been a whole lot easier and I would not have had feelings of brokenness as a child. This is only touching the tip of the iceberg and purely from my personal experiences. But this already shows the miseducation of people. I admit that, as I've already said, I did not know what being gay meant and I had to ask someone. But that is exactly what you need to do. If you're unsure, just ask someone for clarification. Someone will take more offense if you create false assumptions and stereotype them over just asking them a question for clarification. Secondly, another cause of the divide is the fear of standing out. From a young age, it is ingrained into our heads that being straight is the norm. This is across social media, film, TV, news, and just general conversation. This is even more evident for the gender spectrum. Media consists almost solely of straight and cisgender people and only being exposed to this restricted range of genders and sexualities can make people who do not identify as them feel different and outcast. This leads people to feel unsure of who they are and cause people to hide their gender and sexuality. This can lead to low self-esteem and low confidence and sometimes even mental illnesses. This has affected me personally as due to past experiences with bullying, I still find it hard to be open about who I am, and that's even to people I interact with daily. 
Thirdly, another possible cause for the divide is inaccurate stereotypes. These can include that gay men are camp and lesbian women are butch. They can be that all that people believe all LGBT people are just pests, that gay men hate women and vice versa, that transgender people are not real people, not <laughs> real men or women, and that bisexual people are greedy. This, I believe, is caused by the miseducation and misunderstanding of people. This links to my previous points. This is damaging to LGBT people and has similar effects to the fear of standing out. This can again, cause LGBT people to hide their true self for fear of being judged irrationally and can, again, lead to low self-esteem, low confidence, and, again, sometimes mental illnesses. This has, effect, again, affected me personally, as I have been told previously that due to my sexuality, I have a false and obscured sense of attraction that, I, that basically means that I do not know who is good-looking and who is not. I was put down and silenced by people I interact with on a daily basis. So, that's what I believe causes this divide. But that's not enough. How can we create, everyone in this room, as the theme for Grieve Out this year, a common good? We can educate our friends and family, and most importantly, ourselves. How can we overcome this divide if we do not know what it is and what causes it? We we should not judge someone for one aspect of themselves and use that to create false assumptions and stereotype them. This is like the common saying, don't judge a book by its cover. So yes, being LGBT is a part of me, but it does not make me greedy. It does not obscure and falsify my sense of attraction. And it definitely does not make me any less of a person. It does not define me. Instead of using stereotypes, being miseducated and silencing people, we should get to know people for who they are by talking to them. And we should educate ourselves by asking questions. And most importantly, we need to celebrate our diversity. Thank you.